Hi, I'm Rob Kropp with Remax Plus here for your Monday update, answering the questions that I always get asked. Today's question, how do I buy a house with zero dollars down? Number one, loan types. There are a couple loan types that actually you can get in with zero percent down. The first one is the VA loan. Now this loan is specific to veterans and active duty military. There are a few other caveats, but I'm going to leave those right there. The next is the USDA loan. Now this loan is a 100% finance loan, but it's very specific on where the property is. Generally, this is found in rural properties outside of the city limits. In the area of Frederick, where we are, that actually happens to be quite a large area. So if you can qualify for USDA, there are a lot of opportunities for 100% financing. Number two, grants and state programs. So with the grants and state programs, there's a couple different options. One is the down payment assistance, and then the other are flex loans, which basically build in your down payment assistance and closing help into the entire loan amount. And the way that these are broken down is either either a grant or a loan. With a grant, these are essentially gifts from the government that never have to be repaid, assuming certain qualifications. And then two are loans. With a loan, there's a couple different kinds. There's going to be your traditional, which means you're going to, in addition to your mortgage, be paying back that down payment assistance over the course of that mortgage. Number two would be a deferred loan, which means that this isn't going to be paid back until you sell, move, or you refinance. And then lastly, there's a forgiveness program. And these, depending on a period of time, normally five or up to 15 or 20 years, if you were to live in the home for that period of time, that down payment assistance would be forgiven, never having to pay that back. Pretty cool. Now, with these grants and down payment assistance programs, there are a couple qualifications that one must meet to be able to accomplish this. Number one, oftentimes it's going to be a first time home buyer loan. Two, Often it's gonna be a low to moderate income. And number three, based on location, decided by the census targeted tracks. Number three would be getting a gift. That means mom and dad, grandparents, a friend could give you a gift for that down payment. And when you think about FHA with a three and a half percent down or unconventional as low as 3% down, that's not as much money as one might think. So. If you know somebody that's willing to give you a gift, this is another way that you can avoid that down payment. And then lastly, your closing costs. This can be accomplished by either in the negotiation with the seller and having them pay your closing costs or working with the lender to take a little bit higher rate so that you can build back in points to be able to pay those closing costs. With a combination of these different programs, this would allow somebody to purchase a home with $0 down and $0 out of pocket. If you're not sure if you qualify for any of these or want to find out if you do, slide to the DMs and let me know and I'd be happy to connect you with some of my favorite lenders that can help you find out what you qualify for. I look forward to talking with you next Monday.